Hi students, welcome to Mrs. Gomez's at home laboratory. Today we are doing the gum lab. The materials for this lab are two types of gum. I chose Eclipse and Icebreakers. A ruler in centimeters. Wax paper. String. I use Christmas ribbon. And a timer. The purpose of this lab is to perform the scientific method and to see which gum has better elasticity. It's time to make our hypothesis. Which gum do you believe will have greater elasticity? When I say greater elasticity, it's pretty much the bigger bubble. So do you think it's going to be icebreakers or eclipse? Write it in your hypothesis. It's time to do the experiment. In the procedure, it says to use one piece of gum, but I'm going to use two since the pieces are really small. Because I'm using two for the eclipse, I am also going to use two for icebreakers. So I'll grab two pieces of gum, chew it for three minutes, then begin making a bubble and measuring. Don't forget to set your timer. Time's up, now it's time to make my bubble. I have this wax paper here, so if I need to set my bubble down, I can set it on the wax paper and it won't really stick. So I was able to make small bubbles. I wasn't able to get my gum and measure the bubbles. However, I was able to see them. So when I look down, I'm gonna use this string and it was about this size when I see my bubble. And I did three of them and they were about the same size. So I'm going to use that on my ruler. It says one centimeter. So I'm going to write one centimeter in my data table. And that's for all three trials. Now it's time to use icebreakers. Throw out the piece of gum you have now. And I'm going to take two of these pieces of gum because I used two of the Eclipse gum. Don't forget to set your timer. It's been three minutes. Now it's time to make our bubble. I was able to measure it quickly and I measured it to this length. And that's about 20 centimeters. That was trial one. We're going to do this two more times. The length of the string was 21 and a half centimeters. Now we need to do this one more time. This last bubble was about 22 centimeters. We are all done with our experiment. Now it's time to analyze our data and make our conclusions. 